The situation is this. It's Cape Portugal. It's the 4th of November, 1805. French Admiral Dumanois limps away with vessels damaged at Trafalgar. A British scout ship detects the damaged squadron, and Admiral Richard Strachan, with part of his scattered force, sets out in full pursuit under full sail. Strachan catches up to Dumanois east of Cape Portugal, and Dumanois, seeing no alternative, turns to fight. So in this one, it's going to be a 12-turn game. We're using map A and map A alone. The units cannot go outside of map A. The wind direction is 6, which is just slightly to the northwest. All right, the audacity for the British is 3, while the French has 1. So here's the scenario. Straycan is leading in the Caesar. We have the hero, and we have the courageous with an X. Very, very very, very special. Um, we also have here the Scipion, the French ship Scipion, Mont Blanc. We have the Dumanois on the Formidable. It already took six damage. That's why he has to turn and, and fight now. He can't really get away. And then we have the, what is it called? The Duguay Truin. Okay. So interesting situation. Looks like that the French are going to have a great chance for, uh, doing some reaching and getting some good shots off right at the beginning, but with one of their ships already kind of on the cusp of being severely damaged, uh, we'll see what happens, all right? So, turn one, and you can see that the French are already making some maneuvers. They had the initiative in the first turn, uh, causing a little disarray within the uh, British formation. However, uh, minimal damage, all right? Minimal damage to the British. Uh, we did get some hits in to the French due to some really good dice rolls. So, uh, already the British are doing pretty good, I'd say. A little rigging damage, a little hull damage to Straken's ship, not a big deal. Um... Dumois, he uh, he got a little extra hull damage, not good. Uh, but they're also firing into the wind, that is, the British. So uh, they have a little bit of an advantage. So we'll see what happens here in the next turn. So currently we're about four turns in. The British are doing a pretty good job of hitting the hull. They have the wind. They also get the bonuses because they are the British. The French are doing great against the rigging. Okay. However, the French would like to get a little chance of taking some of that, that, that win from them. But it's been very difficult. Proving very difficult to maneuver around the British. So I'm thinking about just cutting right through the British. All right. Kind of messing up their command lines here. Uh, Dumanois. He's not doing so good. He's got about 16 hits now from his six that he started with. So he's trying to boogie out a little bit. Let the other boys take the damage and maybe come around. Uh, so that's what we're going to try and do. The French are going to try and circle and keep Dumanois safe. And give him a chance maybe to penetrate into their command lines. I think that's the only chance they're going to have because they're, they're, they're suffering pretty good here. It's now been an hour and a half in this engagement. It's about 7.45 in the morning. The British, who were enjoying initiative and the wind, uh, had to do a huge change of maneuvers here. They're now heading to the west. That's north that way. They're heading west. The British, who were able to attack successfully, except one ship, but he's now okay, are going to the east. And now they're doing sort of a crisscross pattern. And now you're seeing a lot of yellow sides of these ships popping up. There's a couple of damaged ships, specifically on the French side. But we do have the hero over here. Uh, he's, uh, he's also suffering. The French finally took a hint and started attacking the sails from their position, which has been proving costly to the British. The, um, the Caesar and the Courageous, they've been dead in the water for a while, a couple of turns now. And mobility in war is life. And so... Uh, they stood up and uh, they took it to the sails, and now they've gotten close, and they're doing some severe damage to the British. Okay, um, you got the hero who's in a really bad position. He's going to start getting raked by the uh, the French. Uh, I believe this is the formidable. Yes, it's the formidable. That's a lot of guns to uh, take to your rudder and your and your uh, weaker side of your boat. So so far, uh, an interesting game.
So we had our first sinking. The British were able to pull off the sinking of the Mont Blanc. All right. She just couldn't hold it together. And that white round, that, that white disc around the five, it gives it a negative one towards the sinking roll. So that wasn't very good. Mont Blanc sank. At six points to the British as of right now. Uh, the situation is still, it's, it's been about a half hour or more of the fighting. Um, there's been a lot of maneuvering. I know it's a little hard to see with all these little tiles on it, but the yellow, at least, that's the direction that they're going. The command issue did work temporarily for the French. However, it also worked in reverse. And then you've got this one here. What is that? The Scipion. She's out of command. She can't fire except defensively. So she's kind of away from her ship. Now these two are left to defend for themselves and are both damaged. Um, we have two British ships that are damaged and they're close. They're, they're about to go, but the firepower is still in the, um, if the French are gonna pull this off, they gotta get the Scipion back in command and then come around, come about and uh, handle their business because one of the things about ships being out of command, they can only fire defensively, they can't fire offensively, um, and they can't go near other enemy ships. They have to try and stay away from other enemy ships as long as possible. So that's kind of proving issue, an issue with maneuvering and getting close back into command. So we'll see what happens. I think the British are gonna win this one, uh, but it's still a little early to tell. So at the end of all of the fighting, we had one sinking, which was the Mont Blanc. The British have won this particular engagement. They had the wind at the beginning. The French did their best to outmaneuver. It just wasn't enough. There was so much damage on all ships. No ships struck colors, uh, which is amazing. Uh, however, the British end up winning, just like it did in historical times. Uh, Admiral Strachan wins and he takes for himself prizes. And that is the end of this After Action Report, folks. Thank you for watching.